Hey, it's Tommy from Tanknitions here, and we have a pretty cool video for you today. Um, so we recently did a fendabendazole treatment in an aquarium that was absolutely overrun with Xenia. And for those of you who aren't aware, Xenia is a pretty popular soft coral that people will add in their aquariums. Uh, it has this really cool behavior where it actually pulsates. Um, so a lot of corals won't actively move, they just get moved by the current, but this one, for some reason, we're still not sure why, pulses. Uh, it has a pretty drab color, it's kind of like a pale pinkish brown, um, but it was originally added to this aquarium by their prior service company as a method of nutrient control, and it's very effective at that, but unfortunately, Xenia can overtake an aquarium and start stinging other corals, and that's what was happening here. So we had to do the treatment. I originally wanted this to be a two-part series where I could show you the before and after. Unfortunately, our original video files got corrupted, so you're just going to see the after. Sorry about that. Uh, somewhere in here I'll overlay, we have some Instagram posts of this aquarium from before the treatment. Let's actually do that right now. So I'm on the Tanknitions Aquarium's Instagram page. And here's a post 31 weeks ago and you can see in the aquarium a lot of Xenia in the back as well as a lot of Xenia over here actually on top of the clam a lot of Xenia down on the bottom here and so what was basically happening is we would spend a lot of time in one area remove all that Xenia coral would start to grow Xenia would start growing more in another area that we didn't spend as much time on. We'd have to put a lot of effort in there. The coral would start to grow again, but then back here where we originally took a bunch of Xenia out, it would start taking over again. And we just continued going through that cycle over and over in this tank. So we have some other shots also. Here we go. Here's another clip. And in this one, you can really see the pulsing behavior. So this Xenia is growing on the shell of a blue-legged hermit crab. So the aquarium had so much Xenia, it was popping off and growing on whatever available substrate it could find, including the shells of hermit crabs. This wasn't the only hermit crab that we found with Xenia on its shell. And finally, we have one more clip for you. This is from over a year ago. You can see how much Xenia was in the tank by looking at the reflection in the glass all over here. All over there was just covered in Xenia. Uh, and that was about as far as we could reach with our hands. So we were having to use tools to get the Xenia down there, looking through the reflection. It was not easy work. The biggest issue, though, that we were having is that the Xenia was killing other corals and preventing them from growing, and we needed to fix that, so we used the treatment. Before we got rid of the Xenia, the nitrates and phosphates were always zero, undetectable with the Red Sea Pro test kits, and so we had to dose pretty high levels of our amino acids just to keep the corals happy, and even then their colors weren't as bright and vibrant as they should have been. So we're looking forward to bringing those nitrates and phosphates up and getting better color in the coral that are in the aquarium now. Fendabendazole is kind of a drastic treatment. It's definitely not your first resort. Um, it can affect other soft corals. So leather corals in particular, green star polyp in particular, cloves in particular, but even zoanthids and mushrooms will close up a little bit right after you do the treatment. But because this is kind of an involved treatment, I'm going to post a link to a really informative article by Max Draco um, in the description. If you're considering doing this, you want to learn more. So here's the aquarium before cleaning. We've been noticing more algae growth on the glass between visits since we did the treatment. To be expected considering all of the die-off. But the corals that are in here look so much better. Ganyapura doing really well. 
this red Ghani has never been bigger. All right, the glass is dirty. I'm going to clean it, and then I'll bring you back. Right towards the end of the service, the homeowner's family came in. Uh, they're in town for the holidays. I didn't feel comfortable breaking out the camera again and giving you a final wrap-up of the tank. But you can see from this shot that there's no more Xenia in the aquarium. Down the road, we'll do an update of this tank and show you all the new corals that we've added and the lack of Xenia in there. Bottom line, Fendabendazol works. It's a treatment for Xenia. If you have a tank that's overrun with Xenia and your manual removal is not keeping up with it, it's definitely something that you should consider. If you are thinking about using this treatment, definitely can't stress enough, read the Max Draco article. First of all, you'll need to do that to know how to get the right dosage, but read that article, go on forums like Reef to Reef, read as much as you can to make sure that you're prepared and you've removed any animals that might not do well with the treatment. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, um, let us know in the comments. Let us know what kind of content you'd like to see from us. We have a few videos in the pipeline right now. I'm also going to put in the description a link to Chris's recent video at another one of our customers' houses during a service. Uh, my employee, Chris, also has a YouTube channel, and he recently accompanied me on a job at another one of our customers' houses and gave a tour of the three aquariums that are there, including one with Humphrey, the yellow pufferfish. He's kind of the mascot for the home, but it was a great video, and definitely check out his channel in the description. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.